So starting the test drive out in this Elantra inline, I drove this a few miles around before I actually did the test drive in here just because I was curious. And this is one of the most fun vehicles I've been behind the wheel of in terms of an economy sports car. So I mean, cars that are like your Civic SIs or taking it back a little bit, the Cobalt SSs, cars that were just meant to get you good fuel economies and commute and then they make kind of sport tuned versions of them especially with the turbocharged four cylinder it's crazy it's a 1.6 liter but then having the seven speed dual clutch this is just it's so much fun to drive and when i think about this car being 30 grand it's a budget vehicle for enthusiasts in my opinion and that's just stock. You don't have to put on your own turbo or do this, that, and the other. It's fun to drive. It sounds good. All that, just fresh out the gate. And of course you can tune it any way you want to, but if you don't want to tune it and keep it stock and keep your warranty and all that, this is still a fun car to drive, again, without doing anything to it. And the dual clutch is just so much fun to drive in manual mode, especially with these paddle shifters. It just feels right. And I mean, if I were to have one of these vehicles, I would keep it in sport mode pretty much 99% of the time because it's just so much fun. just so so agile so quick on its feet we have nobody behind us so we're going to give ourselves a little bit of space here and we're going to give it a pull all right here we go it's just so fast and again, it's a 1.6 liter four cylinder. It's just crazy. So we're gonna put it into, tell you what, we're gonna give it a pull real quick. And then you have your lane centering there. And then cruise is enabled. So it's nice to just have this for longer road trips. Of course, it's a system you wanna keep your eye on, but it does a pretty good job on the interstate, two lane highways. Just always be ready to take control when you need to. But all in all, the ride quality itself of course, it's a sport tuned suspension, so it's stiff, but not necessarily uncomfortable. And it definitely helps having this driver's seat with the two-way power lumbar support. So you can get exactly where you wanna be. So again, when I think about competitors for this car, I think about the Civic Si. In terms of what's out now, probably, Oh, BMW 2 Series, something like that. And then Toyota has the, the Corolla. It wouldn't necessarily be that GR, but a step below that, just in terms of a, a quick car that isn't necessarily a top of the line quick car, if that makes sense. But I mean, the Asian market pretty much has that on lockdown just South Korea, Japan. It's just hard to find a good competitor that's in this market that's inexpensive, yet still fun to drive, still fast, and still gets incredible fuel economy. And this pretty much checks all of those and then some. I will say I'm looking forward to Nissan bringing back the 
the Sentra Spec B, that would be a good competitor for this. But I mean, for a car under 30 grand, it's fun to drive, it's quick, it's practical for commuters. It's an awesome car, that's all I can say. But this will bring me to the end of my review of this 2023 Hyundai Elantra N-Line.